Alrighty then, welcome back into Blood Bowl 3 Season Finals. Great to have you back with us for our last match of the day. Uh, this is going to be exciting, fellas. This is really exciting because whoever wins this will go through to tomorrow. Whoever loses is out of our competition. And uh, we've seen, I mean, uh, why would you not want to get as far as you can in this competition? Because we're talking about real money now, cash prize-wise. We're starting to get into the thick of things here, Andy. Absolutely. I, 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 it, it's, it's cool. Um, we're going to have... Yeah, it, Four and then dropping down to three, like just like us three, and then and yeah, tomorrow tomorrow morning we'll uh, we'll see who goes out. Um, yeah, what, what's the what's the difference now? How, how much is this game we're worth? Talking, we're talking a couple of hundred euros here and there. We're talking a couple of hundred euros, but then you want to get the accolade of being the champion, don't you, as well here? So uh, let's actually see exactly who is competing in this last match of the day. It's our semi. It's it's, it's our lower bracket final. Semi final. Semi -final. Semi-final, our second semi-final. Uh, let's have a look at this and see exactly uh, who is coming up first. Call Troop is our first player. We're taking a closer look at and deep diving into the stats here. Uh, walk us through here, Andy. Uh, the, uh, Call Troop, we just saw him compete. Uh, a quick turnaround and the humans are back with a vengeance. Yes, I, I think this matchup, we talked about the tackle blitzer not having any relevance last time. Now, suddenly, with the goblins running around, that tackle blitzer is actually probably one of the most, most important players on the pitch. So you want to keep that sweeper uh, and be able to go and ta tackle goblins where possible. The mighty blow is, is massive. Anarian's got two blockless Blackhawks. You want to be chasing those around as well and, and punching those with a mighty blow. Uh, and then he needs to be keeping his catcher away from those two tackle blitzers, uh, sorry, Blackhawks, so that he can then actually use the m mobility and speed. So we'll, we'll see. I, I think this, we'll is, see. This, is, this is a good matchup. Good matchup. And of course, there is his foe, Inarion, as well here, Jimmy. Uh, we'll take a look at uh, Inarion's team as well. Indeed, the Black Orcs here. And uh, they can pack a punch. Tell us how. Yeah, I mean, we, well, we saw it earlier, didn't we, against Artemis. They're amazing. You know, they've got block. They've got grab. They can chain hits together. He's basically three dicing with mighty blow and block every single turn with that troll, and he can foul every turn with a with a with the goblins. You know, even with what even once the sneaky git is probably inevitably ejected, he can still carry on fouling because he's got 14 players. He's got two tacklers to like try and you know counter the catcher a little bit. You'd normally expect humans to run two catchers, and Coldroop's only gone with one, but it's it's been obviously super effective. He's, he's got as far as he has done with that. So, you know, it, it, it's super interesting. I'm, I'm not, but I'm still backing Inari, and I think he'll come through. Do you think that a lot of aggression coming from Inari as well here off the bat? Yeah, I think so. Uh, I think he's he's going to have to pile pile in um, hard if he wants to get anything done here. If he plays too passively, the humans will run around him. So, okay. Okay, keep that in mind, folks. When you're doing your predictions as well, obviously we want to hear from you guys at home as well who you think is going all the way and facing in the next round up against Strider, if I'm not mistaken, in the next round, which will be tomorrow. And uh, that'll be a mighty, meaty matchup as well here because we've got Diana, we've got Strider. Sorry, just, just rolled off the tongue. I'm so sorry. Uh, if you joined us, you'll know what I'm talking about. Uh, obviously, we've got loads yet to look forward to. Let us know who you think is going to go all the way and who is going to be uh, the victor of this next match. Is it Caltroop or, of course, is it his Anarion? Um, whoever loses, goes out, whoever goes through, wins this, will join the rest of the pack for our last day of our season's final competition tomorrow. Uh, fellas, I think we're ready to jump into the action. Are you ready for this one? Absolutely. Are you ready for this? Are you guys ready for this at home? I hope you are, because I'm darn ready too. Uh, I'm going to dive. Uh, oh, wait, okay, we're waiting for a connection. I, I get, uh. Do you know, I keep getting so excited. I'm like, this is it this time. <laughs> no, it's not time to excite yet. No. Um, but um, I mean, one, one more time, let's reflect on today so far. I mean, we've seen you guys on chat online as well has been absolutely ecstatic about the kind of, the, about this, that around us right now, it looks, it, it's been incredible. I mean, so much fun here. Uh, how has it been for you guys? I must ask you this quickly as well, because obviously this is, this is very different from being at home streaming, suddenly being in the studio. How have you enjoyed the, 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 oh, the day so far? It's completely different, but it's been absolutely amazing. Absolutely. Yeah. Has it been yeah. fantastic? It's been fantastic. Of course it's been fantastic. <laughs> uh, right. The game is officially now. Let's jump into it and see exactly how this one turns out. Who will go all the way? Uh, will it be Anarion or Call Troop? It's time to jump back in with Jimmy and with Eddie. Thanks very much. And yeah, Call Troop's won the toss. He's decided to receive unperturbed by the absolute abject failure of everybody's drives in the last in the last match but you know he got he got his drive done perfectly didn't he perfect it turned stall in the third half so you know i guess he's ready for it and you know the mental toll of like playing a game and then playing another one the exertion it's not that big a factor is it it's only two games in a row tomorrow they've got to play three or four maybe so yeah. Uh, you know, this, this, this. In a way, this is like hardening him for the for tomorrow's uh, action, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's hardening him for the for the final. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the final. Well, well, that's what happens with a semi, isn't it? <laughs> <sighs> oh God, it's 
started already. It's not even turn one. <laughs> so what I, tell you what I like yeah, here. Go on, I, tell, I, tell I, us, Andy, what do you like, Andy? Tell us what you like. I like the fact that he's put the Mighty Blow on the line of scrimmage. He's not blitzing with it, right? He's just he's just going to be using the Mighty Blow to... to <laughs> the to, Mighty Blow. The, the might, yeah, yeah, he's, yeah. He's, that too. He's, he's applying Mighty Blow all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> I love Blood Bowl. It's great, That's isn't great. it? It's great. <laughs> it's great. You guys are great. These guys, I'm having a good time. What a great time. Uh, it's your, uh, it's going to yeah, be exciting. I mean, I guess this kind of first... Uh, I mean, Cal Troop, I think, in the last kind of few games as well here, we've kind of seen that, you know, he has made a move off the bat. There's not been kind of... I don't think that passive has been a case of, okay, this is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to grab by the scruff of the neck, and this I'm going to roll with the punches here. That's the vibe I get, at least, anyway. Yeah, yeah. He's 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 a bit of a wild man, uh, but it works for him, man. doesn't it? <laughs> it works for him. It's it's just keeps working every single round, except that, didn't it? You know, but the, yeah. and that was tragic. The one turn, you know, if it wasn't for that one turn, if he'd set up properly to to stop the one turn, maybe that one goes to overtime. Maybe Cold Troop wins. So yeah. he's done it again. <laughs> he's done it again. <laughs> he keeps doing man has thrower. Man uses catcher. <laughs> Um, yeah. w one thing I'd, I'd, I'd very much like to see Call Troop now do is, uh, Adam, he's got a very flat line along the front, right? And that fl flat line is very ex uh, easy to expose. And if you just pushed all the, black, um, the, the, the strength four in, suddenly the humans being only strength three fi find it very difficult. Maybe not in the exact middle where the, the ogre and the two guards are, but yeah, this is, this is better uh, because it, it's very easy to, to isolate. Uh, but I'll be curious to see how Anarian plays this. Is he going to run around the side and maybe blitz the, the, the rightmost player and blitz. try and get a sneaky gear in? Or is he going to come in into like this area here? Blitzes him, chance. right? He blitzes him because he gets an extra hit then. Yeah, maybe. Second chance. Well, not an extra hit, but you know, like the second chance. Well, I power. wondered if he would do the far right-hand side, right? The, the Black Orc with block runs around, punches there, and he can punch it into the tackle who can then grab it behind him and then they can try and nail him. Yeah, yeah. Right, it, yeah, it, it's... It's, it's, an it's an option. <laughs> it's an option. <laughs> yeah. I mean, maybe he'll just, like, go for the mighty blow or the guard. But you know, considering the way Anorian's played this, there's, there's every option that he just goes, I'm going to use the troll, three dice something. I don't know how, but he'll he'll, he'll do something. And then, yeah, and he, he's, he's playing. He's just going to play super aggressively. He's just shoving in. Yeah. Yep, go for the mighty oh, blow. Yeah. If you're going to remove something, chip something valuable. The Mighty Blow's got, like, the high roll potential, hasn't it? I, I guess, like, the guard is powerful, but the Mighty Blow has the high roll. So it, it, so if he thinks he, he doesn't lose except by high roll, then that's who you go for, right? Yeah. I think he probably thinks he's his favorite in Aria. Wow, this is hyper-aggressive. Yeah. Piling the strength four, why not? Yeah. I like it. I like it. You know, everywhere except where the guard is. But then where the guard is, you've got the troll. So, yeah, I think this is pretty good. Yeah. Oh, um, <laughs> I like this less. <laughs> yep, a little bit less. But I guess now you're using the whole team at least, right? You know, you, the lizards do the whole seven guys, seven guys fighting uh, the whole team, and then they do, they're doing the same here. Yeah. So this game is worth. I don't. Uh, how how much are we looking at here? Do you think? Well, we're looking at fourth place from this. Obviously, we'll be um, getting out the competition at 400 bucks. So 400 big ones, this, wow. this particular. So, so, they, so they're both guaranteed 400. And if they go to third place, they would then win. At least 600. So this game has got 200 on it, just yeah. riding on it. Yeah, exactly right. <coughs> they're winners anyway, but still, yeah, exactly right. Yeah, yeah. And um, then it goes to jumps up to 1,300 for second. Wow. $2,000 for first place. So it's a mighty chunk of change. Big slice of cheddar. Plus the glory. Plus the glory. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Any which way, this is um, it's a testament to the players. Though. You know, they've kind of committed the last two weekends, and they're in the top eight, and every position in the top eight gets some kind of prize pool payout of some sorts. But, um, yeah, the last four players. You know, it casts your minds back. We started with, what, 56 originally, mm -hmm. and then uh, down to 16, now down to the last four. Crazy. Yeah. Oh, the, 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 the tackle big one is being picked on because he hasn't got block. Yeah. Black Oak, sorry. Yeah. God damn it. Yeah. Yeah, that that's the thing, right? Like that 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 is the weakness of this team by taking those tackle guys. They're just relentlessly targeted by the by the opposing block players. Mm. And and, and now he's got the, he's got two weak links as well, so 
makes a huge difference. It, you know, is there 16 any blocks? Any way you would have taken either, you know, just take seven block, right? That, that's nice lizard. Or do you, you, you have to consider taking maybe two guards or something instead? Would you ever consider that? Yeah, I would. I, would, I think I would have taken guard over tackle, but I think I'm maybe wouldn't have just taken seven block. I think that's yeah, it's harder. I, I think seven block. Yeah, yeah. Norian dodging the two hits there. Yep. The goblins surviving. Equally, yeah. they could have just gone bang, and that could be the end of them. Well, that's it, isn't it? Risk versus reward. He's, you know, lizards are super, super, super strong. They don't really have to kind of leverage anything more. Whereas, you know. The, the Blackhawks maybe need this extra little boost of putting the goblins in to help and then maybe getting the payoff. Yeah. Ooh. Oh dear, troll. It's a train troll, so it's a three plus. He, he rolls a two. Maybe he should have done, you know. Some other things first. Yeah. He's got a block with block here. He's got a block, got with, a block. with block there. Yeah. And that was maybe a bit of bad turn ordering from Inarian. Will the goblins pay the price? Instantly they do. <laughs> yeah, because that's a two dice. You can make that a two dice block. Cause there was a goblin there. There was a goblin. Oh, no, you couldn't. Sorry, the goblin was double tagged by guard. Never mind. Inarion did reroll early. Inarion attempted to reroll on a three plus, but rolled yeah. a two on the loner. Really bad turn for, for Inarion. Oh, Ooh. my goodness. Huge cars. No, no apothecary for Inarion. He just, yeah, he just doesn't have one. No. Wow. Mighty Blow is also freed by that troll hit. So we're going to get a Mighty Blow Blitz probably on that block. Uh, Black Oak here, right? It's yeah. It's getting pretty strong down this side now. Uh, <clears throat> he's got the Ogre kind of holding the side, right? So these two are a bit abandoned, but really nice hit. And with the humans having a 13-man roster, this is totally reasonable that he fouls here as well, right? They're lying yeah. down. He's got... He could get... I'd follow that. And put two more assists in, and then jump on its head. Put sorry, put one more assist in after following, and then jump on his head. Yeah. Ah, well, he's, no, he needs him to protect the ball. That's that's fair, isn't it? Completely fair, protect yeah. the ball. And then, yep, three assist foul. Not terrible. Yeah, because if because now yeah, if, if, if no apothecary, anything that's chipped is permanently chipped. Yeah, and like lizards, right? Like once they're down one or two saurus, everything gets worse. Harder to protect the the you know the skinks in their case, the goblins in this case. So the fact that it is so important to whittle down the big guys, I don't hate it at all. Yeah. Do we both down here? No. <laughs> no. It wouldn't have been the worst idea. Obviously, high risk, high reward. Ooh, so we could. <laughs> Uphill the ogre and chain this guy to there. And then. Mm. Not much, not after much that. else. <laughs> but still, it would, it would like, you know, get in the blitz and then stand in front of the ball, I guess. Now now he does the correct thing of blocking with the, the, the block players. Black. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think I can say that this drive is already toast, but it it looks suddenly very unlikely you're stopping the score here. It's not toast, but it's ready for the microwave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, dear. You got Adam laughing just off camera there as well. Awesome. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Cheers. Pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, wow. Here we go. Look, double GFI hits the... Uh, sorry, not double GFI. Double rush. Hits the ogre. Knocks him down. He's fouling it, I think. Oh, he's definitely fouling it. Yeah, he's doing that before a two-dice block with block, in fact. Yeah. So right. determined is he to hit that ogre. <laughs> that he's going to do things in the strange sequence. Yeah. I, I wonder if that's a bit of tilt from Inarium. That was like... I was just like, I have to hit this guy right now, wasn't it? Like, yeah. that was wild, not making the, the block with block first. Yeah. I guess the humans, they only need one turn to go right a bit badly, and suddenly they just get overwhelmed by the strength four, right? It's like it's like chasing a hornet around, right? You, you, well, yeah, no one chases hornets, but it, imagine <laughs> imagine being chased by a hornet. There you go, right? You, you don't want to... <laughs> Andy the Hornet chase. <laughs> just sat right. there one day reading a newspaper, just seeing Andy chasing after a bee. <laughs> Down the road. 
<laughs> what a mad sight that is. <laughs> mad. <laughs> but we say it's mad, but we can all imagine it's a thing. We can definitely imagine it's a thing. It's probably oh. happened. Oh, oh wow. back to the game for a second. He's Sorry. lost another one. Oh my goodness. That's that's Andy Davo levels of dicing. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. Pos on the positive side, yeah. <laughs> when you said dicing, I was like, wait, this is a Jimmy Fantastic dicing. But yeah, he's rolling Andy dice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is... Uh, wow. It's, I mean, it's not over, but that, this is brutal for Inarian now. Yeah. He, he gets back in, I guess, by just fouling like a madman, uh, you know, and hoping for the best. But I'd say the drive is, is pretty yeah, much toast over. Now, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, it is, yeah. But but he's going to sacrifice the ogre, and if the troll can then throw another um, yeah, a, a blitz on that blitzer, and suddenly, let's say Inarian yeah, fouls the ogre off and kills something with the troll blitz, wouldn't you then think that maybe this is going to overtime at that point? Yeah, yeah, and it can easily go over time, but yeah. it's a big ask down to down two Blackhawks. It is a yeah. really big ask. It, but. It, it'd be worse than losing. I wouldn't trade two Blackhawks for the Troll and, and a Guard Blitzer, I don't think. No. I'd want more. Yeah, yeah. But that, you know, now he knows his focus for the rest of the half, right? The, the rest of the half is just all about damage. damage He's yeah. just maxing hits. He's maxing Mighty Blow, and he's maxing Fouls. That, that, yeah. That's all there is left for him now. <laughs> As a contest, uh, as a context, I would say, contest, <laughs> I would say this is over. Yeah. Uh, brawler fail. Yep. Not the best skill ever, but it's it's a nice little bonus, isn't it? It's just nothing to like, kind of plan around. Yeah. You make this a three dice, can't you? Actually, uh, for the troll. Oh. Oh. Okay, so Anarian's got an entirely different line of play, which is he doesn't think this drives over. Hmm. Ah, well. He uses the loner this time and succeeds the loner, succeeds the GFI, and gets a KO. Yeah. I mean, oh, Apple comes in. Apple Ooh. comes in to save him. I mean, that's kind of fair, right? Like, uh, it was the Tackle Blitzer, which can be a huge key to this matchup. Um, and he fouls him as well. Wow. Makes the double GFI. We've got blood. And it's just a stun. Restun, yeah. Yeah, it's interesting. He might get stung now. One thing is, of course, actually, Inarian does have the one turn touchdown, doesn't he, in throwing the goblin? He does, so that means he should seriously save the last reroll for not doing you know, more bonkers plays. Yes. Yeah, that, that was the advantage to, like, just going for damage, is that you save rerolls to help with the one turn. Yeah. But, you know, we saw him attempt one, didn't we, and the, 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 the goblin, like, scattered back so far that he was just miles out of range. But, you know, things can happen. Oh, wow. Follow. Hmm. Step one more in and take two dice on the troll, I suppose. But then you, you're, you're leaving yourself... Well, you, blitz, you could blitz the troll, I suppose. I'd like to see the ogre get up. Just for... funsies. Yeah. It's an idea, isn't it? It's it's the uh, sneaky kid, of course. Yeah. Doesn't get anything. I suppose with an Orion sticking everyone in here, maybe the, the, the tribe of goblins can try and track the ball? Maybe? I think it's yeah. Yeah, they're like rubbish skinks, aren't they? <laughs> like, the skink pack, uh, you know, attacking on a Lizardman team is pretty annoying, isn't it? The, the threat of that. And Yeah. Yeah, this is uh, quite easy dice to get two dice on the ball with goblins. Like, yeah. very easy dice to get two dice on the ball. Yeah. So, yeah, fair play to Inarian for uh, not giving up. Mm. He's determined to not stand the ogre up. <laughs> yeah. Yep, after after a one D. Yeah, I I'd I'd like to have seen the ogre get up and just yeah, if you're gonna do something like this, just make it go for it and stick him in. Yeah, maybe he's gonna double GFI at the end. <laughs> maybe that's the play that he's thinking of is uh try and get him all the way in. Or, or in here. In here maybe no he couldn't, they couldn't get in. But here, maybe he was going to double dodge. That's the only thing that makes sense, because otherwise, why didn't you stand him up, you know, yep. ages ago? Oh, wow, the double dodge. Four plus, three plus. Yep. And yeah, look, and he's put him in there. 
So maybe that was his idea to double GFI the ogre there if he if he wanted that spot yeah. slot taken. So that the tackle the tackle black oak should be able to be freed and run back. Um That's the first thing he does. Yeah. Stick both of those. I'd stick both of those on the same black orc, and then the one that's free can yes. run away. That yes. just gives you someone next turn. Yeah, hundred percent. I I didn't like that. The, the 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 turn, the turn and like drive situation is yeah, a definite. Just push him for like because you get the pow, push him into him. Don't follow. In fact, just move this guy first, right? Move <laughs> this guy to there. Yeah. Then take the block, push him onto him, and don't follow. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, had to had to play like the drive the drive situation, I guess. I wonder what he's up to now. Because I can't I can't work out whether Anarian is trying to play for damage or he's trying to play for stopping the drive. It, it's almost a bit of fifty fifty of both. Yeah. Well, it, it's it, he can roll dice to two dice the ball still. If that's what he wants to do, right? He can still two dice the ball. But it's just a few dodges, isn't it? Uh, what? Two two dodges with the one guy to here. And one, two. Oh, no. Okay, no, it's just going to foul. Oh. Sneaky gets saves him. He hasn't blitzed then? No. Has not blitzed. Is he going to 1D? Double dodge for a 1D? Doesn't seem very good. No. What he does, <laughs> nearly got the foul. Wow. wow! You can't follow this up though. You get oh, he's pushed him there as well. That 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 gives uh, Call Troop the surf if he wants to go for it. But I know it's too dangerous, right? Because then he'd get counter surf by. Uh... Uh, maybe, maybe not, right? Well, the sneaky. You, you're assuming at that point the, the other two goblins in the area are going to stand up. So I I guess it probably is a bit too too dangerous. It probably is, yeah. But maybe not. He's got a tackler there. He's, you know, he could have somebody stood here, and two players stood there. And that's like that's not trivial to make a couple yeah. of dodges to backfill and then cancel the assists and then dodge in for the one day. But yeah, you, you don't really want to get your ball carrier served. No. So uh, he might switch. Just might switch I, over. I like the idea of blitzing the sneaky git because Anarian's shown that he's quite happy to just stump on down in your face every turn. You don't have an apothecary. You're actually ahead here. I don't want to give him the option of chipping one of my better players for no reason. Like, I, yeah, I want, I want this. Yeah, yeah. this is the auto blitz, really, because yeah. on a pow as well, he, he, you know, he gets his tackle off, cut thumbs up, <laughs> <laughs> and then he's got a bit of a bit of a formation to stall again. So, yeah, it was, it was inevitably the blitz, because the, 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 the surf was just too, too scary. Yeah. Cold Troop can't go and stand in the safe square, so he's either got to stand somewhere if he gets powered, the ball goes into the crowd, or he's got to... I don't know, he it, if he goes all the way over there, though, this, the, the sneaky gets not stunned. Ooh. And there's another goblin just loitering. Yeah, but he can't 1D him, right? He's got to make it 2D in Arian, because a 1... I mean, he did go for the 1D last turn, but, like, the 1D's so unlikely to work. Yeah. He surely has to make it 2D if he wants to hit him. But yeah, it's, you know, it's it's not too hard to make this a 2D, is it? It's like... Ah, uh, okay, so the tackle makes it harder, doesn't it? Yeah. A lot harder. So now this is a 1D to clear the tackle. I think you just dodge the goblin off. Three plus. I'll just... Oh, uh, yeah, this is... Yeah. If you want to do the ball carrier blitz, you're just dodging the goblin that's marking the ball. I think. Or... No, that, that's what you're doing. Mm. Yeah, probably. Interesting. I mean, I think you've got to like, make it a 2D, right? Yeah, if you want any chance of doing it. It, double, it literally doubles the odds, doesn't it? Oh, he's, well, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff's, uh, Jeff in chat's got an interesting point. Cal Troop's players made every other coach adjust their play in this tournament. So rather than kind of they, he played the, his way of playing, would you agree with that? I, I, I guess so. Uh, 
it, he's been very like like loose. I think is the way I would describe his is the way he's played. That that's that for me is mm. is is the way. Yeah, is my free. definition. Free, free. <laughs> he's played freely. Well, yeah. he's, he's got the pal. Yeah. He's and, got the AV break. He's got the cars. Wow. Oh my goodness. Wowzers. And he's caught the ball? <laughs> and Harian's just too good. Wow. Unbelievable. Wow. <laughs> and he, he, he once again didn't blitz, did he? That was just a block. Yeah. He, in Harian, that good. Doesn't need to use blitz. No. Wow. And the, the tackler has been uh, successfully, you know, controlled. Oh, he blitzed with a troll, someone in chat said. Oh, okay. Good. This to the troll. The, he didn't the previous turn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ogre's free. See, I, I'd like the idea of blitzing with a free... Is it a blitz of that, that uh, free player there, or is it a lineman? I think it's a lineman. Uh, you, you, can free, you can free the tackler, right? So you've, oh, got yeah. to, you've got to free the tackler. I think. No, you don't. Oh, yeah, blitz with him into the into the second one. Oh, but he gets the one in nine. Into oh, stop no. skulls! <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, no. And he hasn't stood the tackle up either. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, he probably should have, like, just stood the, stood the tackle up and made the block block first, right? Once he wasn't going to blitz with the tackle, stand him up and make this block first. But, wow. Wow. Inarion could maybe go for the... Uh, Troll throw to score. <laughs> yeah, if you can get him off the ground. Yeah. Like, it's really hard. Because he needs to be free this turn. And then he needs to run forward a bunch of squares. Oh, no, because he, he... No, he can't, he can't do it. Because the goblin needs to have not moved. And you can't throw it from there. It's just, like, it's too far back. I mean, you, you could, like, get three scatters forward, right? I don't know whether What's it's the... possible from one in front to, to get the scatters to get it in range. Probably. Probably is. Like, very, very unlikely. <laughs> yeah. But uh, it's probably technically possible. Probably much more likely to just kill your goblin. So, yeah. Maybe it's best not to even try. So, you know how we were, like, ten minutes ago going, this is completely done? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I can't, I can't believe it. I, I genuinely can't believe that this is, like, what on earth have I just been watching? Yeah. Two black orcs removed, and then somehow you know the the, the two D was kind of left on, right? Yeah. Based, and then <laughs> the, the power, the cas, and the catch was ludicrous dice. And he hasn't blitzed yet. The troll's going to blitz to get up. Yeah. Yeah, he's always blitzing with the troll, isn't he? He's always he's always nailing this mighty blow as well to just try and limit high roll of troll <gasps> troop, and he does. <laughs> wow. Wow, there's some ca he's in Arian's rolled some cars here, like two huge cars. Yeah. Catcher and the Blitzer, uh, the Mighty Blow Blitzer. Still 11 players for Cold Troop in the, se in the second half, but, you know, in Arian's successful defense, somehow. It's just somehow. We're never going to see that catcher uh, pick up the ball again. <laughs> well, may maybe, maybe Cold Troop will win this game, and maybe we'll see him pick it up against Ryder in the next round. Uh, officially, right? We both did predict Anarian to win this game, didn't we? I yes. know. Yeah, you did. You did. did. You definitely did. did. Yeah. yeah, we did, chat. We did. <laughs> I was sat eating a chicken sandwich just over there, and I did. It was a mighty fine chicken sandwich. It was very good. Yeah. 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 Oh wow! Double skulls. So now this is just a foul, isn't it? Because there's nothing else to do. Um. So, let's see. Hand off to this goblin. One, two, three, four, GFI, GFI. You can definitely score from here. Yeah. So I think it's worth trying. And you, definitely can, actually, worth and you trying. can free that up as well, can't you? Yeah. Oh, he's oh he's seen it. it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. This would be this top would be the, tier. Yeah. Oh, Brawler, Brawler. Gets the push with Brawler. Let's go. Oh, my word. Oh, if, if Inarion does this, he deserves to win the whole tournament. <laughs> <laughs> Gets the push. Yeah, it's fine. So now there's no tackle zones on anything. I mean, he, he, that's actually the square he needs for the troll, right? He's seen it. He's going for yeah, it. Yeah, of course. He's got the catch. Oh, wow. He's got to remember to declare the pass here. Oh, God. Imagine he got, yeah. <laughs> He's, He's declared the pass. 
Oh no! 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 no. Oh, so sad. Fails the loner. Oh, that would have been amazing. Oh, imagine that could have been. That could have been on. <laughs> that could have been on. <laughs> it was so close. It was actually so right. close. Like everything else happened. It was just like uh, what he got the really stupid. So it was just a, it's just a few twos and uh, and then like the three to three or four to land. Oh, and then maybe GFIs. Amazing. Mm -hmm. That that was really close to being a one nil for Inari. <laughs> Well, testament as well to, to preventing Kalji from going one up as well. And yeah, just, yeah the, the dice the dice just worked in yeah. his favour. It was unbelievable. Yeah, the nil nil was a win. You know, the nil yeah. nil was a win. He won he won the drive. He stopped the drive, and now he can just win one nil if everything goes to plan. It is tricky, you know, without without two two black hawks. But at least he's still got eleven players, eleven versus eleven, and he'll he'll obviously be fouling here. Uh, you know, yeah. grab back into a massive gang foul. It's definitely advantage in Arian. Unbelievably, despite being mm. down two black orcs, like almost instantly. Yeah, I, I, I think he's got to get something off though, because one, one difference here is in this drive that the black orcs, because there's only five of them, the humans will be able to dominate the goblins, and the, the, the black orcs are going to suffer attrition. The question is, can he attrition at the same rate? That, that's super important. Mm. Fails the catch, and doesn't get the touchback, so. A little bit tricky. I don't want to see an Orion send that, that Black Hawk near the ball forwards. That, that's got to stay near the ball. Because if you're the humans here, I'm swamping that ball as quickly as possible and pressuring the goblins. Yeah. You, you want to move him to like here or here, right? Yeah. Get, get him get him out in front. No foul. No. I'm not sure about that. I like banging on things. Don't we all, Andy? <laughs> That's exactly where he puts him, actually. Exactly where he puts him, the two out in front there. Interesting. I guess there's a strong argument for just blitzing. Oh, he's, he's a tackle, though. Mm. Okay. You can grab him sideways. Oh, he's going for the no damage. He, he, can, he can, like, blitz him, right? Yeah, but blitz him afterwards. Just push him away so you get your three dice. Block. And mighty blow. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because he's got the tackle, hasn't he? Yeah. But he can do the blitz afterwards. Do, do the safe moves first and then finish up the blitz. Yeah. Goblin for a double stack on where the goblin is. Other goblin moves around, makes it safe. Then you can do the, 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 the troll block and then you can do... Other stuff. Yeah, I would have put this goblin here. Yeah. yeah and then this too. goblin here. Yeah. And then this goblin. This goblin picks the ball up. Also, this one's the one with the customization, so this is the uh, obvious one to pick up the ball. Really helps. <laughs> He's oh. dropped it. Doesn't re roll. That had gone forwards here. That's why, where you said about where you put that other goblin, it, it, he's, he's left a single stack goblin. If the ball had gone forwards, that could have been a real problem. Yep. Yeah, I really like that. I really like putting the goblins here and here, like so much more than where in Army's yeah. put them. Yeah. But it's okay, isn't it? It's not the end of the world. And he's, you know, he didn't really have to re roll it here. Um, but, you know, maybe he should have done right. The, the fact that uh, he did stop the score, there's no more catcher for uh, Call Troop. I guess the fact there's no more catcher makes these tackle, uh, well, this tackle big, and there's only one left, uh, Blackhawk. This tackle <laughs> Blackhawk that's left is, you know, a, a blank skill one now. Um, but, yeah, great to not have that movement eight guy. Uh, and only, only three movement seven as well, because uh, the mighty blow damage dealer high roller is gone. Yeah, so he's. I, I, yeah, I like this. He's picking on the uh, the the goblins. Yeah, but weirdly then... not with tackle, but yeah, yeah. I guess he wants it central as a sweeper. Oh wow! D did did he just think that was that huh? was a blitzer? Like because it was seven, right? He went. His plan was to go seven. Maybe he thought that was. Yeah, that's really strange. And Anorian's not going anywhere because there's no way Anorian scores in other than 16. 
So that, for me, that's just the tackle blitz. I, I think, is that, is that fatigue? Like, maybe that's a bit of tiredness. Maybe, maybe, maybe like, you know, mentally as well. It, it was a tough game, wasn't it? With the, the wild swings versus Hiru. Mm. Maybe that's... Uh... Yeah, I, I don't. I don't think the tiredness from from playing should come into it too much, right? It was it, okay. It was a big long game, lots of playoff nerves, pressure, and everything, but it, it was still only one game. I think. I think you know, the kind of, you know, the the kind where you lose your mind is more like the, the third or fourth <laughs> game of the day, of like high intensity. But uh, yeah, m maybe the mental the mental wear and tear of the the swings in the Hiru game, and in this one actually. <laughs> yeah. yeah, for sure. <laughs> One thing with Call Troop is games are always entertaining. You're you, right. Every game has been really entertaining, actually. I think yeah. the, the entire tournament. Every, I think there's always been some kind of swings, uh, uh, you know, surprises, shocks. Every single game we've, we feature on the main broadcast. Yeah, it's been really great. Fantastic, you could say. You could say that. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Just a break. Just a break. I'm, uh, sit down. It's fine. He's just had his arm broken. It's fine. It's uh, okay. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> you know me. I get excited. I like to jump my chair quite a lot. So. Unbelievable. So he's got three dice with a troll. If you block, he puts one more assist in. Then he can use the tackle blitz to come back to get himself off the base. Also, pick up without any safe moves to protect it. I'm not sure, but he gets the payoff. So it was a good idea. <laughs> Like that's the thing, right? Like you know, at the end of the day, he's got he gets payoff. Like you know, you can you can. Oh no! Oof. Oh no! Oof. Aye aye aye! You can espouse safe moves first all you like, but at the end of the day, you you get payoff for not making those safe moves first by having players free to react to the current board state. But now this is an almost instant two dice on the ball. So, yep, this is a this is a problem for Anarian. Should not have tucked in directly behind, right? Yeah, if we, or you don't activate. The, yeah, you're not activating the troll, or you're not doing that. Yeah, it's it's a, it's an or statement. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, right now, can hit the. Uh, okay, yeah. So he's hit him. Okay, so that's that stopped the easiest chain. <laughs> but but he's going to leave that that block big. Uh, Black orc is now too diceable, with with minimal effort, and then the tackle sweeper that we were both confused about not using last turn. Well, it explains it. He knew yeah. Anarim was going to do that. And now, it's two dice on the ball. Yep. Unbelievable. You could say it was the easiest two dice of his life. You could. Yeah, this is a big, big problem for an Aria. Wow. Man, the back and, the back and forth in this has been unbelievable. She like, it's, it's, every few turns, it seems to kind of, the, the tides turn with it. It's, uh, it's incredible. Yeah, I, th I think this is the, the, the effect of the, the two Kaz Black Orcs, right? He's only got the yeah. sure. he's only got the four now. If he had two more Black Orcs uh, instead of Goblins, then they're in the fray, taking up a lot of space, a lot of exerting a lot of control. The Goblins exert a lot less control. <laughs> he was trying to keep them out of the action, trying to keep them out of danger, and he's probably going to pay the price. But I guess there's not too many players to react to Call Troop here, so it's just going to be a one dice. Yeah, I'm not sure what he's up to here. He's got, he's got to play here. He's got to play here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So a GFI to make it two dice. But then that takes up the spot, so he can't really assist from there. He wanted to assist here. Here and here is what he wanted, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, you, you can't stand there. In which case, you're not allowed blitzing the ball. In which... Or, you, or you, you can't one dice. Oh, he's, he's not blitzing. Oh, he's blitzing the goblin and chaining him onto the ball. Chain, uh, chaining nice. the tackle. That's it. Like, it was obviously way better to get the block tackle hit. Yeah. But chaining this guy on is okay. Yeah. That's actually really nice. That's really nice. I like that. I fully endorse that move. I mean, it's definitely better to hit the ball with block and tackle. <laughs> but well. <laughs> he's rolled the power anyway. He's, he's got the 30%. And I guess he takes the ball down, right? Yeah. I guess he takes the ball down, so it was 55% still. Um, but yeah, he got the power. He gets the break. I mean, this is just like Cold Trip's last game, right? Got, got, uh, didn't get turned over and is off. Well, got turned over, but didn't get scored on. And now he's uh, instantly turned over in Arian. Both offences failing pretty hard. 
But yeah, I think Inarian's failure is the consequence of the of the two missing Black Orcs. This troll has to activate and block. Yeah. Has to. Yeah, it's huge. And 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 even so, where are you putting the ball here? Right, there's not Yes, you've got grab and you can make things a bit weird, wider, but where are you putting the ball? It's not easy, is it? Because you kind of want to put it... Well, maybe you have to put it where the troll is. That's probably the square. That's, uh, yeah, that's going to be the square. But then you've got to blitz the guy that's being marked by the sneaky kit. <sighs> yeah. Gets the knockdown. Right, well, it's not standing where the troll is. <laughs> I don't know where he's putting this. I, I'm, I'm, I'm baffled. Bamboozled. Yeah. Yeah. To think Inarian is as well. Just block things and hope for the best is is the strategy. Yeah. Maybe maybe up here, like I guess, right? Like dodge the goblin off there and one D the ogre, and then stand over here. But then he just gets in, and then dodge this goblin as well. So if you dodge two goblins. And then stand over here. Oh, but this guy's completely free. Then you've got to dodge this the goblin as well. <laughs> I think he's, yeah, he's going to have to dodge them all. And they've all got to work. Yeah. And and even then, you know, it's tricky. Wait, what? Okay, well, that, that, that like saves a dodge. It's a blitz. So, yeah, that, that that's okay. That Like that, that blitz saved a dodge. Okay, that's his first reroll. I like that. Yeah. Just gonna block him. Not going for the ball. Wow. Oh, no, I guess this one could. Is he yeah. fouling it? I think maybe he's picking the ball up, standing against that guy with block. Yeah. And then, no, nope. no, I'm, I'm, I'm baffled, boozled. <laughs> uh, he's just he's standing, or he gets instantly two diced. <laughs> yeah. So he's fouling that guy, or no, no, because he has to guard against that. Oh my goodness! Wow. Uphills the ogre. Wow. Okay. I don't hate that so much but he has got two dice on the ball with block and I, 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 I guess like wherever he was going to put that there wasn't exactly we were looking at all three and going where is it where is he going to go yeah. so he picked what he felt was the least bad option yeah I mean, it's worked out all right hasn't it it's actually worked out all right i think i think uh one back was better though right yeah i think so i find it hard to believe that that's that's better than one back. Because it's just a 1D with block. And that's a 2D without... That he can take the ball down anyway. Like, who cares if, you're, if your lineman gets knocked over afterwards? Just keep keep sacking the ball. Yeah. So he's... He needs to stand up the random lineman. Yeah, I like, I like this. He's, he, he's playing now some safe moves. And then you've got the blitzer to react if it's a full power, which it is. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. And this could be a great scatter. Still could be a great scatter. Yep. Mm. It's not a great scatter. But it's going to be in two tackle zones. Yeah. Yeah, still still strong for a, a call troop. And it's still nil-nil, right? Pretty critical that Inarion didn't get that score. Ball Troop can still win this in normal time, potentially. Yeah. Yeah. Chat, who do you guys think are going to win now? Like, Anarian or uh, Call Troop? Humans or Black Orcs? Because I'm, I'm not sure. I think I think the humans? Adam, what do you think? I think the humans. I, I, I think that <laughs> Call Troop, despite Anarion's <laughs> clear class, I think Call Troop's got a bit of wind in his sails <clears throat> after... um. The last matchup against Hiru, I mentioned about the co the course of this competition, you know, kind of going up against so many tough opponents back to back to back. Um, but as you both said, like he's playing relatively loosely, right? So, yeah. 
That's either going to work in his favor, which it has been up to this point, or Anarion's going to punish him. But this seems to change every five seconds. So I, I mean, <laughs> yeah. what, what, you know, and the cliche. It's on now, so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the dice. The dice can decide. But wow. Wow, what a game. What a, like, oh, Cold Troop's just a force of nature. All of his games are just <laughs> wild. Imagine living life like Cold Troop. <laughs> That'd just be incredible, wouldn't it? Like, you don't know what's about to happen. It'd just be... What do you, reckon he's, what do you reckon he's wearing? <laughs> Is that a weird thing to ask? It's a weird thing to ask, isn't it? I didn't think about that. Did you not? No. no. Oh, okay. Do you no. want to walk that back? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, probably should. Maybe like a shell suit sort of thing. No? Oh, you're going to double down on it now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think probably, a, you know, a, a tasseled thong. <laughs> Yeah, he probably Belgium. is, right? And, Do you and take then, it out to a whole then, other level? And, and then, and then something else qu equally completely crazy, like I don't know, like what, what, what are those massive sombrero? Yeah, a sombrero and a tasseled thong. <laughs> you guys have doubled down. There you go. And then the wow, I would never have imagined those were that, that would have combined. Uh, the, the imagery now is just <laughs> and one tassel because the other ones fell off in excitement. Why did you touch your nipple when you said that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's weird, isn't it? He went, maybe one fell off. So, well, just to demonstrate the falling off, right? <laughs> just. <whoop. laughs> Surreal. Season finals. We've lost our minds. <laughs> We've lost our minds. <laughs> Gosh. Gosh. Um, well, Blood Bowl. I mean, uh, here we are. Uh, I don't think I probably I, I would say that that's probably not what I, I, I was going for in terms of what I imagined. <laughs> I went shell suit. You went to a whole other place. You, you started. You went you to start. Naughtyville, <laughs> you and start. I did not buy a ticket. <laughs> he started it, Mom. He started it. <laughs> oh my gosh! Incredible scenes. Incredible scenes. And we're yeah. here, of course, all day tomorrow as well. Don't miss the actual grand final, spectacular Sunday where we're going to see exactly who the victor of our entire competition is. $2,000 the richer walking away as well here. Amazing stuff. <laughs> oh, oh, dear. Oh, oh, dear. Inarion manages to sniff out the one in 81 there. Hmm. And this could be... This could be GG, right? These two guys. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I guess... Whoa. Man, you really want to block with the ogre here first, don't you? Yeah. This is so, like, this opens up everything, but it's a one in nine with Lona, but it's just so good if it works. And then, then it could be game over. Yeah. In the bottom right-hand corner, he's got the human, human lineman lying down. Go and stick that in and, and tag the, the sneaky git, and yeah. then you've got... Oh, the sneaky git. You can't reach the sneaky git. Go for it. Go for it. No, no. no. Move him here. Safe moves first. <laughs> And then safe, safe moves first, stand him up. And then yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm up for staying, standing that guy up. Oh, I really wanted the ogre here. And then the, then the tackle blitzes in and everything's amazing. Le less payoff by doing it this way. You know, it's a bit more sensible. It's a bit more sensible. But uh, I really wanted the big payoff of the, the tackle blitz and the, the, the other lineman, you know, coming in more. Yeah. I'm not sure about that follow because that's going to give him a black orc back. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure about that follow. Double kapow. But equally, if Ar if you can just trip in chip in Arian's yeah, goblins just like, like that, that. Yeah. Yeah. Then there's suddenly this is this is looking pretty good. You could potentially dodge off. He could 1D here, and then if it's a pow, even if it's not a pow, if it's just a push, then dodge this guy off. Yeah. And actually, you're also trading that out one for one as well, aren't you? Yeah. Like it There's real good trade there. So then you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you get, you get like, that's a wonderful yeah, spot for insane. the guard guy. Yeah. And then you get another 2D. So yeah, He's, this is a good play from Call Troop. Yeah. Yes, I think suddenly... Suddenly, this is looking incredibly strong. Yep. 
I think I would have been greedier than him. I think I would have think I would have like you know. It's it's what a lot of people would call worse making this greedy <laughs> block first. I would have been really tempted to do that for a higher payoff, but you know, solid solid from Call Troop. Like this is really pretty strong. Like guaranteed strong as well. He went for guaranteed good instead yeah. of maybe amazing, and it's it looks really good now actually. Yeah, yeah, I really like this. Inarian could be winging his way out of the tournament as we speak. He's on the brink. <clears throat> I guess he can he can get a scatter, right? He can blitz into a scatter somehow. Not easily. No, actually not easily. Because blitzing down here... Oof. Wow. Blitzing down here, there's the ogre guard, right? So... Yes, he's he got to go. He's got to go. Yeah, he's got to go from that angle. Well, he, he could have, he maybe could and maybe should have dodged off the goblin first, which obviously might have just totally failed. But I really like getting the scatter here. This is tricky. If if an Orion does a load more threes, he got he's got a two dice. Sorry, he's got dodge the sneaky git to two squares south of the ball. Um, and then he could put... Dodge this one up. Yeah, dodge this one up, 2D. that's 2D. Yeah. Then the goblin that hasn't moved yet, that's near the troll, can then go and pick the ball up. And, and maybe you could yeah, consider that mostly safe. Mm, I mean, <laughs> it's nothing in the ballpark of safe. <laughs> Safer? <laughs> it, it better than it is now. <laughs> yeah. Is, oh, wow, um, we went for the 1D. Oh, man. Yeah, I don't. I don't like going for the one D. There, I think it's much better to do this dodge to make it a two D. But he wanted to pick up with that one. He's got it. Yeah. Peace. I mean, th this is the problem, right? This isn't in the same postcode as safe. <laughs> <laughs> like, like this is. <laughs> it's safe adjacent? No, no. <laughs> no, it's 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 nowhere near. Re so. Regionally safe? No. Oh, oh dear. No, this this is uh yeah, this is uh this is distinctly unsafe. <clears throat> um I'm not actually uh, allowed to talk about postcodes. <laughs> They've been specifically taken on the, the band <laughs> list. I'm sorry. May I ask why? Postcodes. Yeah, 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 yeah. What happened? <laughs> oh, look at this! He can he can push him in. He can push the tackler, chain the tackler on, so he can hit the ball without even having to blitz. Thank you, Jimmy. Thank you very much. You saved me from talking about them. I'm not allowed. It's all right. We'll wait until it's something less interesting. But we, <laughs> oh, yeah, we are definitely coming back. To yeah, we have they're, they're to find 100%. out. We're 100. We don't. Two Ds, nice. With yeah. tackle. Yep, and with the blitz still to come. <laughs> oh my word! Spike. Right, fully clear the ball. Yeah, that's clearable, isn't it? And he's still got the blitz as well, so he could take yeah. the sneaky git down with one blitz. The guard can blitz the other, or the guard can come. No, sorry, he needs to blitz there, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah. The, the guard. guard just punches. The guard punches, and Lee, you know, is on two. Yeah. And then this guard, ah uh, no, just comes around and provides moral support. Yeah. And then this guy blitzes, picks up one, two, yeah. three, four, five, six. He can get to here. So maybe the other guard like goes to there or something. Yeah. Yeah, this is really super strong. <laughs> yeah, this is this is this is literally game defining. Yep. Yeah, the ball gets to here. So based on that you choose where you put your uh You as a guard. Yeah, because like you could you could do the pickup first, then the guard could come around. Well, hang on, you've got two rerolls here. Oh wow. Well, he's going for the guard blitz, but it was a double GFI. Okay, he gets to hit with block, but it was a double GFI. Ah, now he can push the guy marking the Black Orc up, so the Black Orc is definitely pinned, because yeah. at the moment he could have been freed. Oh, yeah. or not. Equally, he picks the ball up and then makes one or both go for it. Suddenly this is... How, how do you respond as an Aryan? I don't know, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought, I thought we'd just gone off. I mean, th th this gets you an extra point of movement, but like at the cost of a, the double G if I blitz, oh, I don't know. It's pretty good. Like it's pretty good because it made the it made the ball down a, a clear success. Pretty good. Call troop man. 
Like, it's weird, right? Because it, when when I would have taken the extra risk, he didn't. And then he's taken the, the risks when I wouldn't have. And it's just all working out for him. It's it's yeah. great stuff. He's in the zone. Can the goblin, can the sneaky get, get there? I don't think he can, can it? I, think that's I mean, if it baseable. can get there, he's <laughs> he's really bad for standing on the sideline. <laughs> baseable, I think. Oh, that's not even baseable. Oh, no, no, that's why he's gone there, yeah. Wow. So the what he could do is um, throw one of the goblins, right? <laughs> and then hope he can surf. Yeah. Oh, man, Inarian's going to be crying into his cornflakes tomorrow. This is terrible. Terrible. Gosh. So, so you block this guy to there. This guy blitzes to here. Then you block one of them free. Oh, no, the blitz. You can't blitz. No. Nope. God damn it. So you block this guy to here, and you've got to pow him. And then you can move two and throw this guy, and then you could surf him. That that I think that was the play, as as stupid as it is, because doing anything else doesn't do enough for me. Yeah. So I think as, as stupid as that play is, uh, I guess you could go there if you if you didn't pow him and then try again. But you basically, had to just pow this guy, and then throw the throw the goblin and surf him. Well, he's freeing up the troll, so presumably he's running that south, so he's got... It's not going so far, but yeah, I guess he... I guess he's he got trolling options. Bring it to here? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Those, just those early cars, those early cars on the on the Black Orcs, I think that's been what's defined this half. Yeah. yeah. And Aaron was able to come back and mount, like, an incredible defence, but... Yeah, he's just been ground out on offense. I, I think that defense, I think Anorian's defense in that in this drive where I, I was like, oh, this is, yeah, I, I never try and fully, fully give up, but I thought he was toast. I think he, he deserves credit for this. So it's, yep. it's a shame to see him probably, yeah, winging his way towards the exit doors. <laughs> yep. So did you steal someone's postcode? What did you, what did you, oh, of, was it I like thought you were not going to remember. No. Oh, damn it. Like, I'm not going to remember. Come on. <laughs> right. So so I have a very specialist I specialist job with a very specialist set of skills. <laughs> okay. okay. And Liam of course, with, okay. <laughs> with, with my, yeah, I can normally go, no, I'm not going to say I can find you. But what, what, what happens is um, all around the country, it's obviously divided up into postcode regions. And um, yeah, sometimes someone will say, hey, where are you from? And they'll give me the place. And I'm like, oh, you mean... Like SL4 or you know, RG28 or whatever, right? <laughs> and I'm like, oh, okay. And and then apparently that weirds people out, right? So I I've tried to do that a little bit less, but that's that's why. Well, it's, not, it's more like a party trick. I don't think it's yeah. like, I don't think it's weird. Oh, thank you. It's not that weird. Thank you. You've said weirder things today. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> much yeah. weirder. Yeah, than that. yeah. <laughs> this might not crack the top ten. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> The Andy Davo playbook of outrageous <laughs> statements. <laughs> yeah. It's funny. I worked at the Royal Mail, and there's like uh, there's people there who like don't do the sorting things, yeah. and they're like wizards. They they'll get an address, and they'll just know the postcode, and like it's unbelievable. You know, like uh, it looks like you know a cat has scrawled on the page, and they're like, oh yeah, that's Birmingham. <laughs> so like, wow, oh. unbelievable. That's, that's a crazy thing to know. Yep. <laughs> And yeah. also crazy, we're looking at a situation right now, fellas. Call Troop goes 1-0 up with yeah, nice. three turns left to play versus Anarion's two. Anarion here, I mean, what could possibly be done these two turns, do you think, to turn things around? Throw a goblin. I mean, uh, cr credit to Anarion there. I, I was all for throwing a goblin to, to get the surf, but he, 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 you know, he did the rushes. He got enough back that, that Call Troop thought he couldn't stall. Um, and yeah, you know, Coltrip's down players, so with three turns, two rerolls, he could. Oh no, no rerolls. Inarian's out of. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Tricky. Very tricky. It's actually only two turns. Yeah, okay. Oh, it's, it's getting trickier. <laughs> <laughs> um, the goalposts are shifting before yeah. your very eyes. Yeah, he's, he's got to just throw throw a goblin, and it's pretty much the only way he's going to get it done. Yeah. Um, Almost certainly, like you know, it, if he gets a touchback and he gets to just start on a goblin, maybe. But even then, it's it's just hard to. Oh, look where it's kicked! Oh yeah, it's actually a pretty good kick. You get to reroll. Oh, call troop. No, oh. three nil on rerolls. Wowzers. Oof. Oh, wow. 
There we go. So Anarian's going to be presumably now leaning not into throwing it at this current juncture. He still has to have it as an option, I think. I think yeah. he has to. Yeah, has I, to, I agree. I think he set it up. Yeah. I like that he's moving. Presumably he's going to move the other goblin on the other side as well. And then the troll can pile forwards. Go and stand near that goblin. Yeah. Because he has only got two turns. So yeah. he can't he can't even run back and pick it up and then move forwards again. Like no. if he's doing this, he has to go. Oh no. Oh no no. I no. I like like a little mini cage, right? Like with the troll here and the goblin there and something like this, so that you know. Yeah, he could do something. Because he's only currently got one scoring. Well, I suppose because he can throw the goblin, he's always got a scoring threat. But I'd like to see m more than one traditional scoring threat. Yeah. Is the troll going to blitz to chain out the uh, goblin? No. No, he's going for Piling it. Piling forward. Bizarrely now, look at where the troll and the goblin are. That looks genius. Yeah. I, I yeah. didn't have that down as a... a ch what? Wow, okay. Oof. They both live, like... Do you think they, they walk around and their trousers is just on fire? Right. <laughs> like, it, it, it's possible, isn't it? Very. Yeah. yeah. A sombrero and flaming trousers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he rolls all the dice there. Three, two, two. But uh, it doesn't get him into range, does it? No. That was. Uh, I think. I think the play was a pick up and a handoff. Yes. Because he was. He was on the line, right? So he could have gone here. It was still being like a loose screen. I mean, what does Anarion do with his last turn? What does what Kaljub have to do in this situation now to give him the opening or the opportunity? So he's got he's got two different outs. The first of which is the goblin that's furthest forward on the right-hand side of your screen. That is a natural generic scoring threat. So if he can knock that over, that takes out the, the, the traditional play. Um, and then there's something from left field where we saw it, we nearly saw it in the first half where he's got the troll can throw a goblin. And if the goblin hasn't moved, and it lands okay, he can then move the goblin as well. Mm -hmm. So you would get to see something. I don't know if you've... Have you seen a, a, a troll throw? I have seen a troll throw. Ah. Yeah, I have. I have, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, he's dodged away, which was a wild way of doing it. Like that guard, I would have just blitzed with that guard. Oh, yeah. And, uh, but he, he, uh, he did the extra roll because now, of course, he's left the troll alone. I'd stick the tackle on the... Going to re-roll here, like has to re-roll. Because yeah. he's got a really good chance of uh, winning in normal time. See, I'd have put the tackle on the on the ball carrier there. If if you're going to take that play, finish it off. Put yeah, it's a three plus, and there's nothing you can do about it, Arian. Enjoy. Well, he he can throw him, can't he? Like that's that's the play he's got. Yeah. Um, he can just run back with a troll. One, two, three, four. Uh, well, block here, and then four wow. GFI, and then lob him. So. The yeah, because the the ball can the troll can go to the ball or. The ball can go to the troll. Yep. So I think this is a pretty, I mean, not easy in terms of dice, but I think it's an easy decision to make. Yep. Just uh, move the troll over and try and throw the goblin again. Yeah. The troops. second attempt. Call troops just marking the goblin receiver and, and not paying enough attention to the, the troll. Yep. Yeah, kind of. So the troll is marked, but I mean, he's, he's got people to block him instantly, right? He can, he can easily free up the troll at the moment. There you go. There's the free player. Yeah. I wonder if you can. If this guy's in range now. So yeah, blitz here, block here, troll, throw, score. Easy. Overtime. Easy. Easy. Oh. Here it is. I wonder if it was easier to chain this goblin forward because he only needed to chain him one forward, right? And then handing off on a three. And him GFing twice is, is easier than the troll throw. So he was quick can to he, do that. Can he still do it? No. No, he can't. Uh, no, because he's blitzed. But, like, he could have come in here. Well, hang on. Right? He still, is, there, is there a guy marking the uh, just above the ogre? Yes, yeah, he's got this. But it's a lot harder, so, right? You'd have to GFI in here. Oh, uh, yeah. And you'd have to fill this all the way around. Possible, I guess. 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so you can fill that all the way around. And then you could push him. Yeah, that's not even hard, all right? In fact, this guy's here, look. So you, you could totally three, four, five, six. Oh, so it's, it's still a GFI. A GFI and a move around, and then chain him forward. And, and then that's he, a three plus rather than all this other nonsense that he's trying. Yep. Nope, and that's what he's doing. Like, maybe that was his idea with that blitz, but then that's the blitz you'd do to free the troll as well. Oof. Okay. Oh, he did it. He did it not with the... Wait. Oh, no, the... Oh, they have the guard from the ogre. Yeah. Okay, so it's now a three plus. It's a three plus. Three, two, two to go to overtime. Yep. It's about 40%. Here we go. Here we go. Gets the three plus. Two, two, 66%. Well, 70. Gets it. Overtime. Wow. <laughs> Massive there coming in there from Anario. <laughs> what a way to see. I mean, the thing is, we, we expect nothing less at this point. We've just seen the craziest games today. <laughs> craziest games. Incredible stuff. Uh, and our uh, second overtime of the competition. I mean, bear in mind as well, folks. I mean, we've got what? At the end of this, we'll have our final, our third finalist going into tomorrow. Um, everything's on the line. We said two hundred dollars, but in reality, being in the competition, remaining in the competition, is a, is a, is a huge, a huge dub. It's it's worth more. It's something that money can't buy. Like love. <laughs> yeah. yeah I'm sorry, I can't sorry, help you yeah, there. Yeah. I can't help you there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do love. <laughs> no. It's... I just do blood bowl. <laughs> 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 and bacon sandwiches. I've, I've and got bacon sandwiches, yeah. of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bacon sandwiches. Ketchup in there? Do you, do you, what? Oh, my godfathers. <laughs> You're not a ketchup person. Uh, not in bacon sandwiches. It's got to be brown sauce. You and a fried egg. You wouldn't do both? No. What? No, no, no. Right. Of course you Bacon sandwich. A little bit of butter. Just a, like, a, like a smear of butter across the top. Has the butter been microwaved? No. <laughs> Just want to double check. Yeah, just, you never know that. Yeah. Just want to double check. Then I'd like to see a little bit of, uh, sliced bacon, very finely, right? Yeah, okay. And, and not, not the streaky bacon either, right? Proper, like, stacks of bacon. And then um, a, a, a fried egg, possibly two, just and, and then cut in half. And then if you could take the crusts off, that, that, that is the best. <laughs> he doesn't ask for much. Yeah. You cut the crusts off. In case you get curly hair. I understand. Yep. I understand. <laughs> I get it. I get it. Look, when you've got hair this bad, right, I don't need help making it look worse. <laughs> uh, ketchup and brown sauce. I mean, I, 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 yeah. I, I, are the eggs runny? Are they kind of oh, like... Oh, absolutely. Yeah, 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 very runny. Yeah, you're not having like... Are we risking salmonella runny? Are we going really <laughs> full on? Well, no. Gun, want, gun so, so the white has got to be solidified. <laughs> Obviously. Um, And then I would like to, yeah. I'd like the, 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 the yellow bit so I can stab it and it goes... Bleh. Stab it. <laughs> it's good. It's good for you. Okay. Yeah. Well, there we go. I uh, no one turn attempt, of course, because the catcher was Dead. removed earlier. Uh, Let us know in the chat if you like stabby eggs. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want stabby eggs. I, I like them so I can stab them. Yeah. <laughs> Of course, you've got to make sure that the uh, that the bacon has been thoroughly sniffed before you start eating. <laughs> well, indeed. There's four French people over there going and grimacing, I think. I've taken my glasses off so I can't see them, but I suspect that they're probably <laughs> dying slightly inside. What did we suggest? Like, oh, baked beans last night. They, they were just blown away. That was a thing. No, they like, hated them. Yeah, we were like, yeah. wow. There was a strong feeling of, like, there was that like, animosity at the dinner table. Yeah. Quite heated. Americans are the same. It's, it's, it's They like the barbecue beans. They like they like them barbecue-y. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Be serious. serious. <laughs> Let's be serious now. So, humans have managed to receive here. Yes, yeah, huge, huge. Uh, I think that's a big swing, because I think the humans have got the mobility, haven't they, to, 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 to do something with this. And they're playing with 10? But yeah, look, they haven't got to throw it to pick up the ball, and of course the catcher primary. So they're Ooh. down really good players, but uh, and it's ten aside, right? So ten he's refusing side. to pick the ball up with a thrower, right? What he's gone and done there is he's got it killed, so he couldn't possibly pick the ball up. Yeah, unbelievable, unbelievable. Uh, somebody here saying the the 
make Andy make sense to them. Oh, no. <laughs> oh come on. Make them a mod. Make them a mod now. You you put your tea in the freezer. <laughs> <laughs> Min Max likes the game. That's nice. That's good. Yeah. Proper baguette. <laughs> Seek help. <laughs> Someone said that you're agreeing with Andy. <laughs> oh, <brilliant. laughs> yeah, it is top top performance from Inari. And yeah, yeah, to be fair, losing two Black Orcs and then getting to overtime is incredible. Yeah, he's done very well here. Yeah. I would I would like to see the call the, the, the call troop. Yeah, it makes him sound like a big unit of people, not just a person. But I'd like to see Call Troop using the tackle blitzer and actually Smashing goblins. Mm. Not using it as a ball carrier or safety. Has he got? He's still got rerolls as well, hasn't he? Wow. Yeah, two to none. Big advantage. Two reroll to zero, and got the you know won the toss for the reception. So huge favourite. Yeah. And he's then two free rerolls. So he's actually this would be non non, but because of the 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 luck on the kickoff events, it's currently. Uh, 2-0. Yep. Not blocking with block there. No. And and 10, 10 players to 9. And obviously big, big uh, advantage in quality of players with there being 4 goblins and only 4 black orcs. This is really tough. I, I don't I don't like him not using the, the blitzes for the... Like, you're, you're throwing blocks without block when you literally am stood next to a person with block. Yeah. Just use the block. The, I mean... And, I mean, he can't use the block is the problem, right? Because he needs the guards. Well, no, no, he no, he can't. Just because he's blocked straight backwards. Yeah, yeah, he just, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, no. Yeah, no, I don't know why he did that. <laughs> Good point, Andy, no. That's, <laughs> no, yeah. no. Yeah, just block straight forwards. I guess now he gets to reposition, but... He's going to block again with no block. This is a blitz, no block. Interesting. Super interesting. We might see a goblin toss. Ah, but he's picked up the ball. Uh, Using your tackle blitzer here makes me uh, sad. Yeah, I, I, I don't like it either. I'd carry it on a lineman. I mean, the tackle blitzer does give you two advantages. One, it means you can run that little bit faster. And two, uh, C.1. <laughs> he's got defense against a 2D from a... <clears throat> Black Orc or a troll? Yeah. If he gets marked by a goblin, he can blitz them off super effectively. So we could see uh, just a gaping hole here, couldn't we? Uh, troll blitzes the ogre and the whole team piles through. Problem is they're just so slow. I think, I think Inarin just has to fight. He just, he just yeah. has to make two deep blitzers and fight with these five players versus the. He can still foul as well, right? The sneaky git's still here. So if he can, if he can just lift a player or two of humans out, suddenly maybe he actually stands a bit of a chance. Yeah. Especially if he gets rid of good players, like the, the human that's the blitzers that are the, are the big problem. Yeah, I quite like going for the Ogre because, you know, it's a good player and you get the 75% knockdown. Going for that guard, it was, ah, but it gets him the 2D from the Goblin. Yeah. Into a big gang foul. So, yeah, this is pretty nice, actually, isn't it? This is really good, actually. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah good play from an Aryan. Oh, no foul. Uh, he's making the foul still, probably, but just he needs to hold the sideline, I guess, he thinks. Yeah, maybe, I mean, yeah, I guess that's why he thought, but I sort of qu query whether he, he, he needs to or not because it, cause it's a full half. Does it matter? I don't know. I mean, his his offences haven't gone too well, have they? So. <laughs> no. <laughs> Here it comes. Doesn't break armour. No. Three, four, five, six. No. Moot point whether he sticks the goblin or not. Oh, man. Oh, who has the cough? Sorry if you guys heard me cough there. Uh, I did press, I have a little button. And it's called um, cough. It's great. So every time I, um, I need to cough, I press the button. And then it stops. It's brilliant. 
don't press the button because you, you want to cough. You <laughs> press the button to stop people hearing you coughing. So like a cough. Oh, okay, I will. <laughs> <laughs> and then if I want to reply, I press the talk button. <laughs> no. <laughs> don't talk back to me, yeah. Dave. <laughs> <laughs> it's brilliant. It's brilliant. Do you think it's all about on on call troop now to kind of shift all the play to the left hand side of the field? Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. that's the obvious weakness, right? There's four, yeah. uh, five players over here, so swing it around. But you know, th th that's what you've got to do. You've got to swing side to side, and you've got the movement advantage if you can. It, it's, it's what lizards do all the time, and mm -hmm. and it's what humans are going to try to do here. It's a bit tricky against the strong guys, but there's not that many of them left now. True. Yeah, this is this is still kind of okay. I'd I'd like to be as sensual as possible, so then when I swing left or right, I get the most distance out of it by being slightly offset here. Inarian knows where he's going; he could probably just shut that door. Yeah, yeah. You you want to be able to swing both ways, don't you? Absolutely, gives you the most options. Yes, we're not going to explore that statement at all. <coughs> could, we could surf this Garda right now. Oh, it's an option. But again, big commitment. Maybe it loses you the game. It's a surf. <laughs> Morally, you win. Well. <laughs> like, it's pretty good. It is pretty good to do. Yeah. Well, he's, he's done. He, he's now locked that side up, actually, right? The double column defense here. He has locked that up. You're not going through that, are you? No. Surf's on. Not taking it. Yeah, I mean, you can still can still take it. This this just frees up a goblin first. Like he can block and then grab and then like one D surf, but he's not. No, uh, Norian's backed out of it. Just not activating the troll here is pretty nice, right? Yeah. But he's he's gonna mighty blow bang, <laughs> and now it's even better because now he's on them both and there's no goblin and one's dead and it's a cast. He's yep. on one of them. Yeah. Wow. There was there was a possibility of not of not taking that. Yeah, I wouldn't have hated not taking it. I like staying there. I don't know why that's the blitz. Like I don't really want to move. Oh God, we wanted to put him in the wanted to stun him. <laughs> God. <laughs> yeah, I quite like I quite like just staying there. But he's so slow. I guess yeah, he needed more cover. Ta tackle like tackle blitz that goes through sneaky get here. Yeah, but then doesn't get past him. Pow, dead. Yeah. And and if it fails, was it five six five to get there? You can still get back. You can still go behind your screen. So um, yeah, snipe with the tackle. Ah, man, I, I mean it's easier to say now that it's failed, but I just think I just think uh, you know if you want to blitz, just don't make the GFI. Yeah. But yeah, I guess Inarian saw something that he thought he had to GFI to deal with. Maybe he currently. I mean. Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't think it is, but do you think that he thinks the humans are going to go into that top left-hand corner and therefore he wants to be closer to the top left-hand corner? Like, m maybe that's what it is. Maybe he wanted to... That's weird because, like, it just doesn't do enough, does it? Like, no. you know, standing here, if you wanted to, to trap him into blitzing the sneaky git and going up here, then you just don't need to do the GFI to do that. So the, the, the rush was uh, very strange. Okay. So he's doubling down on going this way. Hmm. It's like an Aryan anticipated correctly, I guess. But it, but it, but again, just uh, just no need for a GFI. He was he was totally fine. Yeah. And then can you know do something. So the ta tackle blitzer in behind the two that have moved. Yeah. And this should be fine now. They, like. He should he should be okay. You want to dodge away from the troll as well, I suppose, like towards the end of this turn. Get your guard blitzer back. <clears throat> yeah. Scenarian's got a downed black orc and a black orc that's tagged to deal with this. Yeah, yeah. it's tricky. Yeah. 
But, you know, if if he had this Black Hawk standing here, how much worse is it? Not a lot. Not a lot. So maybe he did the right move, the Blitz, but it, it's not the GFI. Yeah. He's, he's got three dice on that Goblin with the ball carrier in front of the Ogre. If that works... Oh, right, no. Okay. What he could do is he could bring in the sneaky git and he could... Uh, oh, no, it's, it's so far away. Disregard. He can blitz this one and, and get this this black off. Yeah, 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 that's yeah, nice. Yeah. That's nice. And he's got the troll wow. now on something else as well next turn. Yeah. Which is nice. Really nice. <laughs> Very nice. Do not GFI now in Aryan. Well, no, you might have to, though, right? If, if, if to, that's no, yeah. what you need, that's what you need to do. Let's go fetch that goblin on the right-hand flank. Whatever you do, that goblin is the next move. Yeah. Whatever that move is. Well, unless you're not GFIing, yeah. 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 This is... I mean, go in here, and then that gives him another... Well, it gets him to hit the guard onto the troll, which is really nice. Yeah, no follow, stay put. Dodge off the last goblin for, for a grid. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, I, I, I preferred gridding it. But pretty strong, pretty strong. This could go to a coin toss here, or kicks as it's it's called. Yeah, it could do. It... Yeah, this is tricky, right? Ogre, ogre activation is not where you want to start. But if you don't do the ogre activation, what have you got? Yeah, humans down to eight players here. Black Orcs still on nine. And I said, the, yeah, the humans were going to definitely attrition. The Black Orcs would maybe attrition. <laughs> yeah, right again, Andy. Well done. Yeah, it turns out blitzing with Mighty Blow, you know, three dice blitzing with Block and Mighty Blow every turn. Pretty good, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. For random attrition. And the, the goblins are still pretty tough with with right, with right uh, Thick Skull. They're not so fragile, are they? <clears throat> wow. I mean, he's not getting forward, that's for sure. Yeah. He's going to have to go back to where he was. Yeah. Inorian's getting far more out of this team than he's got any any right to do so. <laughs> I don't know how he's doing it, but he, it's just working for him. Yeah, incredible. I mean, Cold Troop too, right? Cold Troop's done amazing with humans. Yeah. And uh, and Inorian's doing amazing with, with Black Orcs. Does he jam the Ogre in here? That's the question. He can put the Ogre on three, three goblins, can't he? That'd be nice. But while it would, then how does he fight the Black Orcs if he does? So, yeah, he... Puts him on the black orc. And he's going to have to follow, f hit the goblin. That's from the from the point of view of the... Oh. No. No reroll. I have to eat this, yeah. yeah I, think, no I think you eat this. There's no... Oh, I thought you'd have hit, oh, yeah, hit to, way, to right. get away from the troll, yeah. Because yeah, on a yeah. push, you're, you're away. And then it, on a pow, you can 2D the, uh, the black orc as well. So the ogre's getting get taken down. Yeah, and fouled maybe. Oh, Sneaky look at that! Like that. that would be incredible. Right, you're blitzing from the floor. Follow, because then you can just stick tackle zones on things. Stick one assist in, then foul the the ogre. Yeah. He's not gonna not gonna go for the surf here, is he? No. <laughs> Face the ball. GFI, so we can't. Oh, well, not you can't. I just don't think he will. Shouldn't, yeah. Well, even then, it, even then, shouldn't isn't correct, is it? It's just it's risky. Wow, ogre's down. Yeah. No foul. Oh wow. Oh, it's because you killed it. Hey. Wow. Yeah, I thought we'd, I thought we'd have grabbed him into this into, into the gap there. Hole, yeah. Yeah. Wow, this is incredible stuff. He's gonna mighty blow again. I really like not activate. This is a such a risky activation, freeing the freeing the guard blitzer. Yeah. 
One here is so bad. It, it was, oh, this could. This is like a game losing moment. I think it, well, it could have been right. Yeah, you'd, uh, what, what, I, I, and and for hardly anything as well. Like why? Yeah. How's this lineman? Lineman. Good. Good for the break, right? Good. Yeah. An armor break here. Suddenly the humans have got six now. Yeah. Five effective five, players. Five standing. Yeah. 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 This guy can't do anything. Wow. So yeah, maybe this was it. You know, this the, the, the non-activation was super scary, but then this is the only play Call Troop has. So he was yep. trying to take it out with a power. So there, there you go. Like you know, it was risky, but maybe it's more risky to not do it. Just like, do you think he's handing like handing it off? I, I yeah, one dice the one dice the troll, then hand off Blitz score. Because you can just outrange all the Black Orcs. Yeah. If you can get to that top right-hand corner, you've won. Yeah. Like, like actually won as well, probably. Yeah. Yeah. This is this is looking pretty strong. Just needs to roll the dice. So yeah, you know that hit there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but the thing is, if he rolls the one, then then he's it's absolutely over. screwed. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. then then the handoff is automatic basically, and the blitz is you know <laughs> he's absolutely gone if he rolls the one. Um. But I guess you know it was it was so dangerous that maybe it was maybe it was worth doing. I don't know. He, I think he, he could have had this goblin here, right? If he has the goblin here and doesn't activate the troll, I, I still quite like <laughs> still quite like where he was. Yeah. The other option here for the humans is just to play the safe passive turn. Yeah, there we go. Play a safe passive turn. Um, blitz. That should be in a blitz move. Now he gets to hit the uh, goblin as well. Oh my goodness! Huge, huge wow. removal. Oh, that could be it. That <laughs> don't want to say that could be it, but that's the third big guy off. That's massive. Gets the pal. He's a, a specialist in taking out the big guys. Oh, oh. my god! <laughs> yep. So Anarin was like looking like, oh, he's, he's going to do, oh, oh. And then the game's just gone, hang on a second. You said what? Yeah. Are we surprised, lads? No. Are we surprised at this point? This is bonkers. This is absolutely bonkers. It's like trying to predict where a chair's going to land in a hurricane, right? I've got no idea. Wow, all the dice that turn for Call Troop. What a turn. What a turn. Two players gone. He only had like five players he could activate, <laughs> essentially, and then <laughs> remove two, and all of a sudden he's got the ball in a Y cage, and it's looking pretty good. Well, it's the bottom part of the Y instead of the middle part, but still. But if you're an R in here, do you think you're just playing for, for like full, full, full time? Yeah, 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 at this point. I mean, that, that turn was massive. If he's still, still two players up, then... There's the outside chance of turning over Call Trip, I think, but now now it's it, yeah, playing to survive. Playing for kicks. Yeah. Yeah, because I think he's gonna be able to he's got three turns left, so he can jink one way and then actually go the following turn. Yeah, I don't. Right and Orion off at your peril, but He's out. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is completely done. Yeah. No, not it, done. Not done. No, it's definitely not. It's definitely not done. That cough button works, by the way. It does work well. I noticed yes. that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just looked at it. I was like, yep, sorry. All right, fine. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty decent. Yeah, it goes for the yoga. There's nothing. Would have broken the armor of the lineman. I think I prefer punching the lineman as well, because it's a more responsive piece at this point. Mm. Do you think? Do you think fatigue? You know, if if Calchup goes on to win this now, do you yep. think fatigue will play the fact that he's been back to back games pretty much today, then tomorrow morning or tomorrow afternoon straight in there against Strider, and then a best of three against Diamond to kind of if if that goes in his way, that's a, that's a lot of blood bowl in a very short space of time. Yeah, quite, yeah. Top quite, tier as well. Quite possibly. But he, he just has this unique way of playing, which is unique. Inspiring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's uniquely unique, isn't it? Like, it's, it's uniquely unique. It's completely unique. Unbelievably unique. 
dear. What was the word used earlier? Free? It's very free. Yeah. yeah. It's free. Inspiring. Inspiring. Yeah. Mm. Unbelievable. Fantastic. <laughs> Sorry, I don't it. <laughs> Man, this is uh... this is this is this is th three turns. I mean, oh, the squeaky bum time. Really is. It's so tough for an army. This team's so slow, so unresponsive. Oof. No. <sighs> no. Oh, he really wanted I, that guard of free, didn't he? he? He did, but this is one of the ones where, like, I'm happy with just tagging one of those Black Orcs out of the game at this point. Like, I don't care. And yes, so I'm just dodging. If you want the guard of free, dodge him. And, and actually, I'm not dodging him because you've got to boil it down to the constituent parts. You've got two, three goblins taking on three linemen. I'll take that. Yeah, but he, he could free this, he could free this uh, Black Orc, right? He could punch this one, punch this one, and free this one. So yeah. I guess, I guess he had to... He wanted to, uh, you know, maybe strand them. So they, were, I don't know, it's tough. Oh, oh my God! God. <laughs> this is what a crazy game this has been. <laughs> All these guys, you know, two black orcs cast troll killed, three goblins gone, and then over here, so many humans gone. The catcher, the thrower, three of the blitzers cast. <laughs> 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 Completely nuts. Wow. Surely Anorian's lack of rerolls is going to bite him at some point. Surely. Sure, you'd think so, but this is tough, right? Because he kind of needs these to... But he has to dodge. Yeah, yeah. He okay. kind of needs them to hold the centre, but he also kind of has to dodge. I think he has to dodge here and screen as well. Or you put the Black Orc into that area. Maybe. Maybe. I think he wants to double GFI Blitz with the Black Orc. I guess this, he, could, he could be safe, right? Blitz this one. Blitz this one that, and hold there. Uh, that I like, right? Yeah. Because they're so slow. If, if anything... But he's going for the GFI. Oh, my word. I knew he was. I knew he oh was. Oh, my word. I mean, this is strong. This is really strong. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. <laughs> Gets another... Oh, room. my word. Got to risk it for the biscuit. That was... I mean, that was very brave. Like, it was It was a lot safer to just blitz this guy and, and you know, remain central and I hope the goblins hold the sideline, but... That was really nice. <laughs> what, a, what a swing back with those two removals. Six players for the humans. If, I mean, the, the counter play here for the humans surely is, um, there's, there's a goblin and a sneaky git on the same level. Blitz the guy that's not the sneaky git and then dodge the blitzer with tackle and run you know, nine squares in the top right and just trust that that will range you. Yeah. Three, four, five, six, seven, GFI, GFI here. Yeah, go and be there. It's and, not and it, bad. And if you get that, like the goblins on the same rank as you now can't touch you because you've your movement seven, their movement six. If you take out one of the goblins that could get you, suddenly, Anorian's left staring down the barrel. Or you can do that. Yeah. I mean, that's that's the same as the dodge, right? Yeah. Oh, except he's... Oh, he has powered him, yeah. Yeah, you can power the guy. So now no dodge. Like that, that was much better fail state. And better success, really. Double go for it. One million percent. Like, well, I say, <laughs> what, maybe some percent. <laughs> like a small percent. He has to do one, I think, right? Because this guy is, is just there automatically. Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah, he does too. Yeah, I think he had to. Because he's got the rerolls in an area, doesn't it? So. Yeah. Now you can dodge one of the, that human lineman off. To go and just go and stand in the way. Yeah, free rolling with this dodge. Does he put in the re roll? Nah. It's really yes, good though. Apparently it's, he it's does. It's really good, right? That this this like stops the goblins getting you with quite a bit. Yeah, I suppose it does make it massively more difficult. Yeah, so all the black orcs are now irrelevant. It's now goblins versus blitzers. I mean, this guy can double GFI to tag for what it's worth, which isn't much. Wow. And then he can double GFI to assist. And then he could double GF... Uh, he, he could single GFI, and he could get two dice on the ball. But that's too many GFIs with no rerolls. So it'll be interesting to see what Inarion does. Because anything can fail, right? 
Well, he just goes there and tags him at least. He just has to go there and tag, I think. Yeah. I think he has to do that. And then, is this a Geofighter tag? A Geofighter tag him, and then a dodge off, and a Geofighter hit 1D. I guess that's what he has so to do. So two Geofies, and then he needs to find a 5. So it's 2G5. And if oh. it fails, that's it. Yeah. So he needs 2 2 5 to work. So 5 is 33%, and then you get 60%-ish 60 of 33%. Hell of a game, this, isn't it? Do you think we could maybe get these two to just play again tomorrow? Like, <laughs> I, know. I know, exactly, yeah. But this is what you hope for, though. This, this, uh, this part of the competition, you want it to be this kind of, like, you know, intense. Absolutely. Chat, what has been the best game today? I'm just curious, like, I'm not sure which my favourite game is, but possibly this one? Like, because it's just been so wild. I think I think the uh, Diamond Strider was the best played one, and this was the this was the craziest one. Here yeah. we go. Made the dodge, makes the GFI, double GFI to get a better push, push oh, direction, dear. and then skulls out. <gasps> no rerolls. Oh. Are we going to see double skulls? Yeah, I think I think oh, yeah. Man. The chat is saying like this one is, uh, this one's been the most bonkers. And yeah, Jimmy, I agree. Like the the, the highest standard one was the first one. That, that had all the serious, serious commentary in as well. Serious commentary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Diamond Strike, which could be another game we see tomorrow. It could be our best of three tomorrow. Yeah. Excellent. Don't forget, chat, whoever wins this in the next uh, the next turn or two is going to, and it looks like it's going to be Cal Troop here with the second touchdown. And, uh, yeah, it could be a Cal oh. Troop versus Str Strider to kick things off yeah, tomorrow. That's it. It's done. Troll stays out, so that's th it. there's only the uh, timeout. If there's a timeout event, maybe an Aryan can win. Well, you know, like tie it and then win on kicks, but a tragic, a tragic kill result. Gosh. But it's it's genuinely not over. There, there's always the timeout. Yeah, but, That's a, it's a shame. I, I've I've not seen anyone toss a, toss a goblin, so I would have liked to have seen that. Mm. Of course, whoever kind of whoever whoever loses this still walks away the four hundred bucks as well. Yeah, which is which is a nice little a nice little bit of cash for the weekend. Yeah, but it it will not make up for the crushing loss. <laughs> oh no, devastation will will be will be hurting for quite some time. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. So you know how we both predicted Orion in this round. Do you know how that happened? <laughs> yeah. Whatever. It, right, I'm just going to go and say, what do you think? And I'm going to pick the other one. Just yeah. always pick the other one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you're one out of four today. I'm like one out of ten, I think, for the <laughs> <laughs> No, no, I must have picked it, uh, Artemis versus Coltrip. So maybe yeah. it's two. Maybe it's two or three. Not great. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Done. That's it. Yep. There we have it, folks. Wow. GG's all round for one, one heck of a game. One Incredible. heck of a game. Incredible stuff. I mean, just unbelievable. <laughs> all of, more KOs. I mean, all of the positionals for the for these, and then these two early. I mean, I know he's played, you know, ninety percent of this game, more than ninety percent of this game with down two Blackhawks. Unbelievable, unbelievable from Inarium. Another injury. <laughs> wow. How many players have you got left in the field? Three, four, four players, <laughs> five. Five. Wow. <laughs> There we have it, GG's. Un unbelievable scenes. I like that yeah. was incredible. Hopefully you ch in chat as well enjoyed that one because we can see all the comments. Everyone's just saying bonkers, absolutely <laughs> mad. But um, we can't help but say congratulations to Paul going through to the next round and face off against Strider tomorrow, Andy. Absolutely. I mean, I'm going to predict he's going to win it, the whole thing. Right, there, that's it. <laughs> I, I, I actually think that, that the other two have probably both got a better chance, but Cold Troop, he's just crazy. And if Gosh. he keeps that level of crazy, yeah, you can't predict what a crazy person is going to do. That's true. I mean, this would be. I mean, we saw like, again you know, losing the two Blackhawks early on there, as as uh, as an Arion did. That would be a great Uber Blood Bowl. That would be a great <laughs> moment. What do you do in the same situation? Because that was a massive difference maker, wasn't it? Losing yeah. those two players early yeah. on, it made it very hard to, to, for an Arion to kind of enforce his own strategy when already the two pivotal players were taken away. Yeah, yeah, it made an uphill battle for the entire match for Anarian. Did amazing to hang in there and, you know, nearly did the business, didn't he? He was so close, so close.
But uh, yeah, just just great stuff from Inarian. But fantastic from Cold Troop. And you know, he's 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 defying everything, isn't he? Defying the odds. He did in the NAF kickoff. He beat Lizards three times, and now he's got to beat them again. Gosh, what do you think? What do you think Strider's been obviously clearly been watching? Um, shout out to Strider. Hi, if you're watching. Um, if that is the fact that you, you're watching that particular matchup, what? How is Strider preparing for tomorrow for Cold Troop? Because it just seems that Cold Troop has an answer to anything being chucked at him right now. I think what he does is he takes his playbook. He sets it on fire and then just plays blood bowl because I don't think you can. I don't think you can have an answer for him. He's just he's just bonkers um, in in a fun way, right? I I, I love you, but um, <laughs> um, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. And of course, you know, must say shout out as well to Inara, and they walked over four hundred dollars, <laughs> coming in fourth position there. I mean, we start with six players today. We're down to only three players now left in this competition. Uh, let's have a look at our winners bracket first and foremost, and see exactly how the land lies uh, as we kind of wrap up our first day here of our doubleheader this weekend. Uh, you can see the winner bracket earlier on today. We had Diamond versus Strider, and uh, Diamond was victorious with a one-zero win, taking the Orcs through to the grand finals. That'll be our best of three tomorrow uh, and Strider went down to the lower bracket um, you said earlier on a, a, a comprehensive first game a, a great example of the of the, the creme de la creme of matchups in Blood Bowl 3 when you saw these two go head to head yeah absolutely I think it's, it, 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 it was great then I can't believe that the the result was only 1-0 right they played such a tight game and it was it was brilliant to watch brilliant to watch Let's have a look at the other bracket as well here and give you guys a, a look into what's been happening in our lower bracket. A lot big focal point for today's broadcast as well here. Uh, we can see we had earlier on Anarion versus Artemis, a 1-0 win there, taking Anarion through to the next round. And then Call Troop versus uh, Hero, a 2-1 victory there in overtime. And then we went through to the following round. Call Troop straight back, called into action. Call Troop Call back into action uh, against Denarion there with a 2-1 win in overtime as well. And there you can see uh, our our lower bracket grand final tomorrow is the first B01 we'll be seeing with Cal Troop versus Strider. There's there's two big games tomorrow. I mean, there's going to be absolutely you must be mentioned about the the kind of like the magnitude of a best of three as well, Jimmy. Which is kind of you know it's going to be a grind. It's going to be a, a, a real test for our players. Yeah, a test that not nobody's used to. Nobody in Blood Bowl is used to this. It's going to be really exciting to see how it plays out. You know, does it go one one? Does somebody just 2-0 and it. Um, you know, really, really interesting to see how they handle the pressure. Yeah, dare I say, I mean, do you, are we calling a, a Strider versus Diamond final tomorrow? What are, what are your predictions? Right, so what would I like to see from a challenging game of Blood Bowl? I can predict <laughs> what the hell is going to go on, on the screen, right? I'd, I'd pick the Strider versus Diamond game. And if we got another game like we got in the first game today, that would be fantastic, right? We, I'd enjoy the analysis. I think the technical the aspect would be brilliant and it would be really close against two high quality coaches. Yeah. Jimmy? Yeah, I mean, it's funny because we, we had, you know, uh, Diomed beat Elliot in the first round, and maybe that should have made Diomed favourite. But also, Coltrip beat Crucifer in the second round of win losers bracket, so maybe that should have made Coltrip the, fa the favourite. So, yeah, it's it's going to be super interesting to see what happens. It really is. Uh, it's all coming your way. Tomorrow is the big one. It is the grand final coming your way tomorrow. We're going to find out exactly who that is uh, after our very first match, which our best of one, our lower bracket final. Uh, the first match is going to be at... 3 p.m. local time here, so CET. 3 p.m. is the first match. Make sure to have that in your diaries. Lock it in. Have a reminder set because it is going to be a, a blood bowl. It's going to be, yeah, I mean, that's that's on, that's on the money there. Uh, followed by later on, you can see our grand final season finals there. Uh, the very last match is a best of three. Uh, who will Diamond face in that best of three? We're going to find out tomorrow for sure. Uh, this has been, a, we must say, a massive shout out to everybody here who's been part of the production. I mean, this studio has been absolutely incredible. I hope you guys have enjoyed this as well. We've had tons of, we, we, we've we been laughing so much. We've been tons of fun. I mean, it's been amazing. It has, absolutely. And there's a big bucket of sweets over there which I'm looking forward to going and attacking shortly but uh, the yeah. production staff have been fantastic thank yeah. you very much indeed guys yeah massive shout out to you guys and uh, of course for you as well at home as well watching we've been here for eight hours or so on the broadcast right now and a big shout out to all of you for being so much fun and giving us the energy as well uh, to get through to the end of our first massive day here in our season finals weekend uh, make sure not to miss it tomorrow it is all coming your way we look forward to seeing you then as you wrap up and find out exactly who will be our Grand Finals champion. Do not miss it. Thanks for watching Blood Bowl 3 Season Finals. We look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Till then, take care and bye-bye for now.